Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Rank Miner, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail using Final Cut Pro. So, um, to get started, what you want to do first is, um, you want to get your background image. In my case, I chose this cool background image I found, I think. I don't know where I found it, but I found it somewhere, and I thought it was cool. So I decided to use this as my background. So... I got my background, and then I got my Minecraft dude, my Minecraft skin, so um, I guess this is maybe more of a Minecraft skin, not Minecraft skin, that's not what I meant to say, but um, whatever, um, so I just shrunk my Minecraft dude down to size, and uh, I made enough room so that I could put text, so um, yeah, oh yeah, forgot one thing. Then I uh, did some color corrections, and um, I just kind of wanted to change how the background looked. That would look a bit cooler, so I just experimented um, looking at different colors. Um, so I think eventually I chose bluish, bluish, bluish. Yeah, bluish. Cool. Um, yeah, so I got that, and then I uh, chose my text. So. Um, what I'm making here is my text that's going to say, um, what was it? Oh! How... How to make a thumbnail using Final Cut Pro. Okay, yeah, I got it. I remembered. I remembered. Don't worry. So, um, I just made my text. Um, I increased the size enough so that's easy to see. And, um... Also, so that it doesn't hit the borders. So, um, I got that. Eventually, I uh, changed this. So, uh, yeah. Stay with me. Um, and then I chose my font, which is very important to me, I think. Choosing font is super important. Um, well, to me, it's really important to me. <laughs> um, so then I, uh, here I, uh, add my other part, and I use my favorite font, which is the Batman Forever font. Um, you should check it out. Maybe get it. It's really cool. I really recommend it. Um, so, yeah, I get this font. Oh, there it is, yeah. So, the Batman Forever. And it says down. So, yeah. And, uh, the next what I do here is I, uh, change the, um, color of the font, which I think is very important as well. Um, I think I make it lemon, which if you have Final Cut, you'll see, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I make it lemon, not this. Don't use this, I don't recommend it. Lemon looks cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this. I think the font change actually. It's not supposed to happen, but whatever. You just experiment yourself doing uh, this. So, um, yeah. I'll just let this go. Okay, so after you have this, you're... I think you're almost done. But uh, I also I wanted to add a uh, the prism effect. That's it. That's it. I was thinking that. Yeah. So here I just take it down. Just try to make it look more better. -er. <laughs> so after I get this, I want to add the prism effect. So I add that on here to my first text, which makes it look. I like. I just like the look. I think it looks cool. And uh, then here I just size it down a bit. I just kind of adjust it to my standards. And then... I think I'm done. Am I done? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Here we go. So then uh, you're just going to make it big. Like that. And uh, you want to get rid of all that stuff. I still had that like little thingy in the middle. If you can see that. So... Uh, I uh, tried to fix it, but I couldn't, so I had to exit out, and I had to unhighlight the uh, basic text one. 
which got me this, and then I paused this, got up, and I took a screenshot, which you can do by pressing Command or Control F4, or maybe it's Command F4, try one of those. But I did that, actually, yeah. No, it's Command 4, do that, Command 4. Um, then you just drag what you want, and then you got it. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.